ladies and gentlemen, Darren Stott! Thank you for watching our Sunday morning service. Come on, you guys are wild this morning. Pastor Anthony, how you been? Better than I deserve. <laughs> well, it's been another wild week. Yet this last week, a Seattle woman thought that she would have a little fun and she set up signs along her sidewalk in front of her house uh, encouraging people to do a silly walk. Have you heard about this, Pastor Anthony? Oh, the Seattle woman, right? Yeah. I don't, no, I haven't heard of it. I guess she's playing off the old, uh, you know, the old Monty Python skit, you know, but right. speaking of silly walking, here's a bunch of random clips off of YouTube of animals walking like humans. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody do a silly walk. Yeah, this last week, this is actually a pretty big deal on YouTube. Uh, Guinness World Book of Records, a record was set by Joe Wick, who did a live broadcast with over 955,000 live viewers watching his, uh, his aerobic video. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? No, I definitely didn't. <laughs> yeah. When he was interviewed and asked by the press what he was going to do next, he responded by saying, I'm going to move out of my mom's basement. <laughs> This is a little bizarre. This last week, an Iowa man received a postcard in the mail that had been mailed to him 30 years prior. That would have been 1987. Pastor Anthony, did you hear about this? Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, 30 years later, receiving something in the mail. Kind of crazy. Turns out it was actually the post office. They were doing a cleaning of the post office when they found the postcard and mailed it to them. And, and this, is all, this is all absolutely true. What makes it even more bizarre is that three days later, he received a box of Twinkies mailed to him from 1984. When he was asked how they taste, he responded, they taste just like brand new. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Twinkies. They don't age. I mean, they're just really the best. The best you could get. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> but it gets even more bizarre. Five days later, the same Iowa man received in the mail a 40-year-old <laughs> turtle named Leonardo 
who apparently survived, and, and th they found this out, Pastor Anthony, they found eight pa packages <laughs> of Twinkies and a very happy turtle. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This just happened just this last week. I'm not sure if you heard about this, Pastor Anthony, but a monkey broke into an ATM uh, kiosk and began dismantling it, taking it apart. And they got uh, video footage of this. Did you see this, Pastor Anthony? No, oh, that's nuts. It was absolutely crazy. The monkey was later apprehended by the man with the big yellow hat who gave the monkey a slap on the wrist and said, Silly George, next time you need money, just ask me. <laughs> That's bananas. Just this last week, it was announced, this was like in a magazine or something, but an Australian man, he remodeled his studio apartment and he put a bathroom right in the middle of his kitchen. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? No, no, I didn't, I didn't know. No. Yep, it's true. Apparently, if you purchase this studio apartment, it comes with a cookbook called Stinkin' Delicious. <laughs> 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 this is kind of bizarre. This last week, uh, there was a, a gigantic boom that was heard over Washington State that they said could have been an exploding meteor. Did you hear about this, Pastor Anthony? Oh, oh yeah, I heard about that. Yep. Now, it was either an exploding meteor or it was just a very large boom. <laughs> <laughs> or... It was Guile from Street Fighter 2, you know? Sonic Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Sonic Boom! <laughs> I never played Street Fighter 2. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what he, what he does. <laughs> he just, like, swings? Yeah, he, all right. he just he throws the boom. He, like, steps. You got to go back and then, yeah, all right. Here's yeah. some boom! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've got such an amazing service plan this morning. We're going to have a lot of fun. We believe that fun is not a threat to faith. And when times are getting so kind of cray-cray, I think it's important for us to come together, even if it's just online, for us to recalibrate, for us to re-energize, for us to refocus. And so this is going to be a great day of re's, right? Of revival and reawakening. This is going to be, this is going to be really, really good. But before we even move forward, before we go any further, uh, we would like for everybody to share this broadcast. So if you would share right now, and after you share, Put one of them fun little flame emojis in the comments. That would be incredible, okay? You, you, this, this service could be a real blessing to some friends and family um, on Facebook. The other thing that we want to do is, hey, if this is your first time ever watching our broadcast, we want you to put a one in the comments. A one for first. This is your first time watching a Sunday morning service um, live here on Facebook or YouTube. If you could do that, that'd be great. That way we can really celebrate you um, as an entire community. It's such an honor having everyone watching this morning. This is going to be such a great and powerful time. I'll just open up with a quick word of prayer and then we're going to go to Chris White with some worship. So Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. And even if we don't know everything that's going on, Lord, we know that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. It's, uh, yeah. So, Lord, we just declare, Lord, your sovereignty, not over just this service, but over this day, over this upcoming week. And, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your spirit's going to help us recalibrate. It's going to help us get our perspective back that by the end of this service, we're going to feel like something's been restored yeah. within our own hearts. We're going to feel like our vision has been renewed. So, Lord, we give you this time. We give you this service. We thank you for the fun that we've already had and that we're going to have. And Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to take a quick moment just to praise and worship you. In Jesus' name, everybody said, amen. amen.